Welcome to the World Tarot. Today I channeled the following message. The last night of love, the first night of war. This is actually the title of a book by a Romanian author and it's about a soldier going into the first world war. And this soldier is heartbroken and thinking about his wife cheating on him while going to war. So the war doesn't mean anything to him. It's his heartbreak that he's focusing on as he is fighting a war. So, uh, the message I channeled regarding this situation is that there is a soldier going to war again in Ukraine. And um, they're being triggered, their past life is being triggered. This person was indeed a soldier in the First World War, also in a past life. So this person is repeating history right now. History is repeating itself for this person. This heartbroken soldier who has, who has been a soldier in many past lives and they have a lot of trauma. Their very soul has been traumatized by how many lifetimes they spent as a soldier. And this person has to release a lot of karma in this lifetime from these past lives so they don't continue coming here and uh, becoming a soldier and fighting for the rest of eternity. <sighs> the thing is that people don't realize that the war in Ukraine is not just about Ukraine. The Third World War will start in Ukraine. This will be today will be considered the day that the war started. This is not just about Ukraine. People are pr praying for Ukraine but minding their own business right now. And it's going to affect them too. It's going to affect the whole world because this is a world war that's starting now. Even if people don't want to admit it. Even to themselves. Holy Spirit, show me the heartbroken the heartbroken soldier. Two of swords, four of swords. 24. Today is the 24th of February, 2022. 24. Both of these cards represent the sign of Libra. Two of swords, four of swords represents the sign of Libra. Vladimir Putin, the dictator of Russia, is a Libra. Libra sun and Mercury. The fool, the soldier is here. So this person is as if they are deaf, dumb and blind, like the free monkeys. They're pretending not to understand what's happening. Hear no evil, see no evil, say no evil. But they're unleashing evil onto the world. 24. Okay, I had his birth chart here opened. Anyway, let's move on. Holy Spirit, talk to me about the heartbroken soldier. Talk to me more about the heartbroken soldier. The Queen of Cups. They've got Venus in Scorpio, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, uh, somebody with Venus in Scorpio tends to be very obsessive in love. And they also have Ascendant in Scorpio. They've got Uranus in Cancer. So that's all the water here. Why is this person uh, starting a war? Knight of Wands, because they're used to being a soldier, literally. Because they were a soldier in so many lives, they don't know how to be anything else. But this person is actually craving love and affection. 
they don't want to be a soldier but it's like they're pulled into it it's like they're forced to do it because they're so used to it it's like um they're just repeating a pattern over and over again nine of cups ten of swords their wish is to end something their wish is to destroy Their wish is to be the king of the hill, to be the king of the world, to rule the world, to juggle everything, to keep everything in the palm of his hands, and to make the world go round. He wants to control the whole world. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands. This person, I I'm seeing, you know, the... <laughs> They want to start communism again. That's their uh, ideal. They have the fantasy to um, bring communism back to Europe. We're going to be in the shadow of the great bear again. This person wants to go back to that. Yes, indeed. That is their wish. That is their dream. Why does this person want communism again? Why does this person want communism again? Ten of Wands. Um, burdens. He, he wants to keep people down. He wants to keep people bowing their heads to him. Working for him. He likes people to bow down to him. Ace of Wands. So he wants to be the one who gives the orders, who has the wand, and the other people are carrying them for him. Why does this person want communism? They like hard work, right? Because communism was all about hard work and family, and family tradition, and values, and people being forced <laughs> to stay in the family and have children. No divorce. King of Pentacles. This person is obsessed. This person, I don't know much about him. Um, but I think he was divorced. I don't know if his wife cheated on him or he cheated on his wife or whatever. But this man has strong uh, traditional family values. They believe in that. That you need to stay for your duty. To respect your duty to your wife, to your husband, to your country. Okay, he has some kind of Capricorn, has strong Capricorn placements. These are Capricorn cards, let's see. And Leo. So he's got a Chiron in Capricorn. That's Chiron is the wounded healer. Uh, they need to, to heal father wounds, family wounds, family issues, tradition. Ten of Wands is Leo. He has a Pluto in Leo, MC in Leo. Okay. Right, so this person has a very um, difficult birth chart here. It means that they need to clear out a lot of karma in this lifetime here. Five of Pentacles. This talks about lack and four of cups, five of pentacles with the four of cups. This person is never grateful for what they have. They feel like something's missing all the time. They feel abandoned. They feel disgusted. They feel like something's missing. This person is not really connected to their higher self. They have forsaken God, right? You know, communists were against religion. This person is also against God. And he doesn't have any spiritual beliefs. He's empty. He's He only cares about the 3D. He cares about control. He cares about having people do his bidding. Six of Cups. This person has a lot of childhood trauma. This person could remember some things about their childhood. 
and they could be uh, missing those things from their childhood and they want to bring them back like communism for example from their childhood why does this person like communism so much two of cups because they feel like it's balanced like that means balance right they're libra they think that that means uh, equality for everyone that that means that all citizens are viewed as equal and that everyone's going to be happy because they're getting the same thing they're not getting different things right so we're rationing we're rationing the same thing everybody gets the same thing the problem is that people are not the same you cannot give them the same thing you have to ask people what do you want what do you need you need people need to have the freedom to choose what they want for themselves and it might not be that ration it might be a bigger or a smaller ration or a different ration altogether but he feels like equality means everybody getting the same thing but if somebody is happy with one particular thing doesn't mean that everyone will be happy with that thing so he's actually very limited in his beliefs five of cups This person is very sad and very lonely. 25. Something that could have happened when he was 25 could be significant here. I'm not sure how 25 works here. Today is the 24th. Tomorrow is going to be the 25th. Maybe there's something significant that's going to happen on the 25th. And it's Pisces season, right? Then we've got two water cards here. So maybe something significant will happen tomorrow. Or he's going to say something significant. Holy Spirit, what does Putin want, want to say tomorrow? Holy Spirit, what does Putin want to tell us tomorrow? What will Putin do tomorrow? Two of Wands. He's going to present the plan he has for the world. He has a plan for the whole world. He has a new world order in mind. And he's going to present this plan of globalization. He wants the whole world to have the same thing and to have the same ruler. What's the plan? What is Putin's plan for the world? Holy Spirit, what is Putin's plan for the world? Show me the truth. What is Putin's plan for the world? Queen of Wands, to set it on fire. He plans to set the world on fire. Holy Spirit, clarify the Queen of Wands. What is his plan? Free of Pentacles. He wants everyone to work together for the common good. But he wants somebody to be in charge and to tell everyone else what to do. Because in the Three of Pentacles, we have that person that's above the other people, right? He wants to rule the whole world. He wants to dictate, to create. There's some kind of masterpiece. There's some kind of master plan that he has. Some kind of master magician plan. Because you see the Queen of Wands is clarifying now the Knight of Wands. So this person could dabble in magic actually. And they have a vision. This person could actually see in a crystal ball the future. Or this, this person has psychics that he talks to. Or he's a psychic himself. He could have some um, abilities. He could have magical abilities. Who could be a warlock. This person could be in a secret society. He wants to control what the Freemasons are doing in the world. What he's doing is he's butting heads with the rest of the leaders. But he wants to control even the Freemasons. He wants to tell them what to do. Because he feels like he knows better than them. Show me his soul. What kind of soul does Putin have? Ace of Pentacles, a human soul. And I've got the King of Wands here again. So King of Wands, Queen of Wands. 
Is this an earth angel? Is Putin an earth angel? Yes, oh my god, look at that. I've got the fool twice. The fool for me is an angel, if I ask. Three of swords. A heartbroken angel. Eight of wands. Six of pentacles. Okay, so this is a fallen angel. And this fallen angel is actually heartbroken. They're a human in their incarnation, but their soul is actually an angel. They feel like they're a gift from God. Putin feels like they're a gift from God. Or that they are God on earth. God on earth. So this is a fallen angel. And he feels like he is superior to the rest of the world. So he needs to give orders to the rest of the world because he's a superior soul. So the rest of the world needs to um, obey him. What can we do about uh, this fallen angel who thinks he's superior? What can we do about this fallen angel who thinks he's superior? Put him in prison, <laughs> in spiritual jail. I don't know, I, I just got an idea, it might be weird. People who are in the spiritual community might be able to do a spell together to put this guy in spiritual jail. So the, the spiritual community might need to come together and do some kind of global spell so lots and lots of people need to get together and make a spell against this person to put this person in jail in spiritual jail so it, a convention needs to be had or something like that we need to create a convention where a lot of spiritual leaders can get together and actually do a big spell on him to imprison him to make him walk away 386 could be significant March 1986 could be significant for him. I don't know how. The year 1986 could be significant. Yes, it is. So something about March 1986 is significant. This person needs to be brought to justice, but it's kind of like spiritual justice. They need to be put in jail, literally. They need to be brought to justice. But if he cannot be put in jail physically, he needs to be put in spiritual jail. And that's up to the spiritual community to do. Five of Swords reversed. This is like victory at all cost. The Five of Swords is vic winning at all cost. This person must not win. Holy Spirit, any other messages? Uh, also, 25. He's born in 1952. So, 52 could also be significant. Okay. Anything else about Putin? Three of Wands. Something's manifesting. King of Wands. He's manifesting something. What is he manifesting? Nine of... He's manifesting war. What can he manifest? More karma and more trauma for himself and everyone else. What can spiritual leaders do about this Knight of Swords? They need to talk. They need to talk to each other about what this guy is doing. Don't run away from reality. Don't focus on the love and light only and not doing anything about something that's really dangerous that is about to spread in the whole world. This is not a drill. This is a world war that's starting. Do not think, oh, we're going to pray for Ukraine and for healing. You're not supposed to be praying for healing for anyone. You're supposed to be praying for spiritual jail for this person. The ancestors need to put this person in spiritual jail. Uh, I know it's going to sound funny that I'm giving this example, but um, remember the TV show Supernatural? Well, the guy who was considered to be Lucifer in the, in the show was put in a cage. So in the show, Lucifer, the fallen angel, was put in a cage. Their soul was put in a cage, a soul cage. 
so that he doesn't wreak havoc on earth anymore. So that's exactly what needs to be happening to him. His soul needs to be put in a soul cage. So that's, I don't know how exactly you're going to do this, but there are many people who know a lot more than I do who can get together and work on this together, spiritual people. That's all I've got. And more swords, swords everywhere. There you go. This means war. War everywhere. World war. Swords all over the globe here. All over the world map. It's not just in Ukraine. So please find out what needs to be done. I can just give people ideas. That's all. I hope this helps.